If you found this video and are watching it, you are just like me. A very dedicated fan of Team Fortress 2. And I salute you. Because you stuck around. I still play it. I got, man, I got like 6,000 some hours. It's ridiculous. I just don't get tired of the game. These are the NECA, or just N-E-C-A, collection of TF2 Red Team. And these are pretty fascinating to me because these took many years to complete. I wish I knew the whole story of, of the delays and everything, but this was, yeah, quite a few years in the making. And, yeah, quite a few years for me to get. Obviously, it was a big waiting game. And my ghosts, my little sandwich, yet. So let's give you a little rundown. Uh, if you're watching this, you might also have a couple of these. There's a couple still available. Unfortunately, for the most part, they're sold out everywhere. And the, uh, the black market, the third party market, is about the only place you can find them. And it's just stupid reseller prices. So I recommend if you really want these, be patient. You, you can find a deal. You just have to be patient and be persistent. That's the number one thing. I first found out about these, I think I remember seeing promo or some a screenshot, something that these were going to be released. So I'm like, okay, cool. And then next thing I know, I found out they were released. I'm talking the, the Red Pyro, Red Demo. And I completely missed the boat. They were sold out I, almost instantly from my knowledge. I don't know how long they sat. Which was disappointing because I was like, oh man, because I wanted to get the, the whole set of red and blue. So I ended up, I think the blue, the blue was always behind the red releases. It, that's what I recall. Um, and I don't remember the exact year when they started releasing these. I want to, my guess is like 2012, 2013, around that time frame. And so, yeah, I missed these. I got, once the blue version of the Pyro and Demo released, I, I got those. They retail for like 25 bucks a piece, which, you know, isn't cheap considering, you know, nine figures a team. It's a lot of money. So it's, it's something you got to kind of save up for. And, you know, looking online, the, the pictures were incredibly detailed. So I had to get these. I thought they were so cool. My, my end goal was to set them up have a nice little display just like the you know the promotional team and to me I I'm a fan of the red team the red team reliable excavation demolition that's that's the acronym of red and blue is builders lead united but to me the red team they are the de facto they're the standard when it comes to team fortress 2 and I think it's because all the promotional stuff it just shows the red team and uh, they're quite gangster. They really are. So, the Pyro, I got the blue and the blue Pyro, blue demo, and I didn't like them. I was disappointed when they released because, to me, my opinion was the pants on the blue team colors, they, they were just too bright. It just didn't it did not look as like the game graphics. So I ended up getting rid of those. I kind of wish I, I did commit and just get the full blue team too. But, you know, I, I don't regret it. I mostly am like, okay, they're expensive. I'll just get the red team. I had to pay, unfortunately, reseller prices on these. I think the pyro alone cost me like 80 bucks, which I thought, I thought it was just ridiculous how much that I paid for a toy. But I, I was committed. I mean, just like you guys, you still play this game, you know, how many years, like 12, 13 years after it was released. And yeah, the Pyro, I think, is probably one of the most collected worldwide. You know, I, I was living in Europe at the time, and I knew people that had the red Pyro, and they were in like Bulgaria. And so uh, these were limited to 10,000 units a piece, which sounds like a lot, would, but... At the end of the day, um, you know, they pretty much sold out. So this was Series 1, these guys right here. 
And the pyro is very detailed. I didn't open these. I just I couldn't get myself to open them. They're just I don't know. They're just that cool. Yep, flamethrower. He's got his axe. And uh yeah, he's just a stupid dirty pyro. I don't really play pyro that much in game. I do a little bit on Halloween times, but my buddies are the heavy and soldier. I, I have more hours than those guys than anybody, followed by maybe scout sniper. NG's getting up there too. I do not play demo at all, but again, I was going for the whole team. And yeah, this this first series was very detailed, very close matching to the game graphics, which was cool. Uh, this was the first red release that I was able to get because these guys sold out, these followed, and, you know, like, I don't know how long it, it wasn't, it was a few months after these came out, then these came out, and I got these on the Valve store, and it, from what I remember, they sat around for a while, you know, they were available, and then it's weird how the stock, everything just dries up, but the heavy, I mean, it's, it's huge, I mean, look at, it's a fat, dirty, sweaty, heavy. Yet. <laughs> yeah, he was he was pretty cool. Pretty good, pretty good execution. Um, let's see, as far as the face. I don't know how the articulation is. I heard some of them are, are tricky to balance, you know, if you do open them up and want to play with them. They all came with a promotional card of some kind of genuine promotional item and on the steam market i don't i mean i guess i'm I'm not much of a trader on steam i got i do have a few cool i don't i got the robo sandwich for that guy um but yeah each of these came with a card for a genuine promotional item i don't think it's you know it's not really that valuable i never understood the appeal of genuine items you know, I, I'm, I'm more of a strange, like, I want to count my kills because it feels like, to me, if you're playing Team Fortress and you don't have that strange equipped, it's like you're wasting your time because you're not building points. Like, it feels like a job that I have to keep progressing. You know, that's, that's why I'm so glad they came out with the whole strange and counter aspect of the game. I think that very well done. Anyway, Soldier was pretty detailed, matched... As far as the game, I feel it was a good execution. Rocket launcher, shovel, you know, they all have different set of hands to carry the, the weapons. So, Series 1, Series 2, Series 3. This is where they kind of took a little bit of a turn, in my opinion, as far as the red team goes. The spy's face is just, it's kind of whack. <laughs> If you, uh, you know, it, it just looks odd. But at this point, I was already invested. So I'm like, it doesn't matter to me. I'm, I'm not going to open them. I was already decided. And I'm just going to keep buying them as they released. So I heard, I'm not 100%, but I heard when the blue NG came out, it came with a red toolbox, which that's, that's a serious QA problem. I don't know how they screwed that up. So anyway, I'm glad I stuck with the red team, because it's the best team. They did a pretty good job on his face. So he came with a pistol, the wrench, toolbox. Most of them have a few accessories, you know, knife, revolver, sapper. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So this was Series 3, and then after Series 3, there was like a huge delay. It, I mean, it was years until the final three were released. I wish I knew the politics, the bureaucracy of why that was. You know, it's, it's like so many uh, theories about Team Fortress and how it was forgot about, neglected. It's, I don't know, I just, I just, I can't believe that game should get more recognition than it does. But anyway... These were the last three, and these, from what I remember, because I just moved back to the States, these came out in like 2018. I think I pre-ordered them around October 2018. And I was, I was really happy, because there was a while where I thought, oh no, you know what, they're not going to even complete the whole set. Like, what a waste. 
I was I was really disappointed, but then they finally I think it was like at some toy con, someone had pictures and they finally finished, and uh, yeah, I'm grateful. So the sniper, his face is to me not the best. They should have had the glasses on him. That was a, a missed opportunity. But all the weapons are very well done, very detailed, you know, for, for all the figures. It's just, especially the, I think, I think the flamethrower is the coolest, but the minigun, very well, even the rocket launcher. Yeah, his face is just kind of not the best. And the scout, yeah, his, it seems like they got lazy on these. Didn't quite match up, if you know what I mean, in my opinion. Feels like they rushed it, or I, I don't know. I don't know what was so hard about copying what was in-game to plastic. The medic, he... Yeah, he looks... See, he at least has the glasses, but his face, you know... But anyway, I was still happy they released these. Um, I don't know what the holdup was. Maybe someone out there does. And again, I, yep, no blue due to the QA and the color just didn't seem correct to me. And part of me regrets not getting the blue team along with the red team. But again, they, they're expensive. Especially now, I can't believe people pay, and people pay those prices. It's, it's wild. You know, I, I just like the, the sandwich, um, I've seen those, just, just the plastic sandwich piece, I think people pay it over a hundred bucks for. Not even with the code and, and the robo sandwich, I think. For the longest time, that was like 50 bucks on the Steam Market. I don't even know what it is now, I'm not really a trader. So, yeah, they're all pretty, about the same size, except the heavy. You know, he's just a big, fat, sweaty beast. And that's pretty much it. Uh, some advice if you are trying to collect the set. I recommend just be patient. You know, don't, don't try to rush through, and, and unless you, that's what you want, and pay the reseller prices, because it's, it's a bit ridiculous. They are expensive. And there's deals to be found. You know, just take your time. You, there's people that sell them every now and then. And you can get them for decent prices. Especially if they're opened. You know, if your goal is just to set them up, that's cool too. And yeah, each one genuine item. Which, they should have, they, they missed an opportunity. Should have stuck with Strange. Because i got to count my progress. If I know I'm not the only one that feels that way. If you don't have those strangers equipped, it feels like you're wa you wasted so much time. So, that's all I really have to say about that. Maneka TF2 vinyl action figures.